We are all connected. People empowered by technology. Technology powered by people. A world that is more than we ever imagined. And not yet all it will be. Creating possibilities that power the future. And going beyond today and building tomorrow. Build your world with cute. Thank you for being here with us. My name is Catherine Barrios from The Q Company. See, we have some people still coming in. If you guys can scroll in, there are some free seats back here. And there's some free somewhere to your right. I want to welcome you to The Cute World Summit 2015. Thank you for being here with us. We have a little bit over 800 people expected here in Berlin this morning, so we are extremely excited. We also are streaming live, so you can watch this from qtworldsummit.com. Hello to everybody that is watching us somewhere in the world, so I hope there's many thousands that are joining us this morning. Um, we are definitely humbled, proud, and excited to be here this morning. This is the first Cute World Summit. However, as many of you know, this is the 12th annual Cute event. Cute World Summit is born from what was Cute Developer Days um, for the past 11 years. The past three years, we've had our great Cute Services partners, ICS and KDAB, who have uh, hosted the past three events. We thank them for taking the reins and putting together great events, keeping the community going and the ecosystem thriving. So I would like to give a big round of applause to ICS and KDAB for their efforts in the past three years. Thank you. Good. So, just a little bit of some little stats. This is the first World Summit. The audience is uh, definitely very varied. We have 50-50, uh, so 50% 50 of you or so are new Qt users, and the other 50 are veteran Qt users. So those that are new to us, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We hope that the next two days are inspiring and that you're able to learn a lot from the technical sessions, the uh, discussions and networking to the cute veterans that have been with us. I, I believe probably many of you have been with us for the past 11 years for all of the events. Thank you for your continuous support. Thank you for collaboration, learning, and sharing all your knowledge that you have with Cute. Our ecosystem is about 800,000 developers, at least what we've been calculating in the past couple of years. Perhaps we have more, but it's definitely an impressive number that will be growing and growing as we move along. And that's a good thing because of you, the power of the open source community of developing things together. So that is something that drives, I guess, many people that are here, collaboration and being united as one. So congratulations to you for being part of that community and helping it grow as we move along. Yes, that does deserve a round of applause. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Good. A little bit of trivia as well, just some numbers. We have weekly about 45,000 cute downloads a week. So that's an impressive number. That's great. And about 500,000 unique visitors to cute.io a month and growing. So you can see that definitely the cute is kicking, it's alive, and it's happening. So that's definitely good stuff. Now, enough. We are short on time. Just a couple of announcements for you to know about for the next couple of days. There is the exhibition happening downstairs that many of you probably saw when you came in and registered. We have our sponsors uh, exhibiting, lots of demos available for you to play around with, ask questions. Um, there's also the Key Prodigy Bar, which is a support desk available if you have any questions on bugs or et cetera. Many of you have already made prior appointments. Otherwise, you can go and make an appointment for the, today or tomorrow. So please don't forget about that. We also have Be Heard sessions happening during the lunches. The lunches, there's only one lunch. During the lunch and, and the breaks, uh, hosted by our sponsors. Lightning talks will happen today at 5.30. The lineup is in your little booklet. I don't have my booklet, but you have your little booklet around your neck. 
We have an evening event today at 6 o'clock. Um, and then also don't forget to sign up to the unconference session. So those are happening all day starting uh, at 1 o'clock after lunch. So don't forget to do that. Again, we've been talking about, well, I've been talking about Twitter. So if you can put the hashtags back up. Oh, that's me. Oh, can you put the, <laughs> you can put the hashtags back up on Twitter? Hashtag QTWS15, hashtag QTDev. We also have Wi-Fi. Can we get that slide up, please? Just with our Wi-Fi passwords as well. The, it's a Cute World Summit, I believe. Not happening yet. OK, Cute World Summit. And the password was on the slide. I will tell you again later. But there is Wi-Fi available. <laughs> I didn't write it on my notes. That was dumb. And a couple other things. We have raffles happening. So good. We have lots of raffles and, raffles and goodies. Uh, Toradex, one of our technology partners, are going to give away 25 boards uh, to some of the lucky people here. Not in this room, but they will be given away in some of the um, selected embedded sessions happening today and tomorrow. Um, so either just give your business card or put your name down on a card and uh, put, drop it into one of the bowls that will be available. Um, tomorrow at 6.30, when the sessions are over, we have Another raffle happening with lots of other things. That'll happen at the exhibition area. You must be present to win. Uh, I'm just going to read through just so you know some of the things that you could be winning. Um, one of our sponsors, PubNub, will give away a $300 gift card. Uh, folks from Yola have uh, given us two 64 gigabyte tablets. We also have that tablet available for you to see at the cute company uh, headquarter booth. Uh, Gamasi will give away HMI development kit. ICS will give away a Minnow Board Max. KDAB will give away a five-day training. The Cute Company will give away a commercial license for application development, good for one year. And Esri will give away $1,700 in Esri training. This wouldn't be possible without our sponsors. We had an overwhelming response of, of sponsors, which has been great. So I want to actually list who they are. I'm going to talk really fast and tell you who they are. They are all exhibiting downstairs. Don't forget to check them out. But thanks to our diamond sponsor, KDAB, ICS, Egypt, FrogLogic, Gamasi, Pelagicor, Adeneo Embedded, Bassiscom, Esri, Freescale, Cunix, Wind River, Intopalo, PubNub, ScienceSoft, TimeSys, and Wobok. Thank you. And a super special thank you to KDE, our great friends at KDE, for all of their volunteer help and, and working with us throughout the many years. All right. That's it for me. We're ready to get started. Our first speaker is Yuha Varelius, the CEO of The Cute Company. Stage is yours. Thank you. Good, uh, good morning to everyone, and welcome to Berlin. Uh, that was quite a power talk. I'm going to take it a bit slower, <laughs> although the uh, I'm going to spend only a few minutes because we have such uh, great keynote speakers here lined up for you. But the, uh, I'm going to touch a bit uh, uh, base on the uh, story behind uh, why Ditsia invested four years ago or three years ago and on Qt and how, how we see the technology going forward and technology innovation. And the, uh, Now I'm having a demo effect over here. <laughs> I went all through the slides. OK. I may not be a power talker, but I press buttons too quickly. <laughs> all right. There we go. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, <clears throat> I have three kids. The, uh, and uh, don't be worried about it. We do market search ra uh, bigger than that. But the, uh, I have three teenage kids, and I've been following how they actually behave and, and, and react. And the, uh, if we look today's teenagers, they are, they are using their uh, laptops or usually portable devices, phones or whatnot. And, and they're always communicating. They're all the time in, on their phones. They're all the, all the time speed texting. And they're, all, and, and they're speed texting with their thumbs. I actually read a study that the, uh, <clears throat> if you're young or you feel young, you're able to walk and text at the same time, and you use your thumbs. And if you are a bit older, uh, when you text, you, can't, you stop walking and you use your forefinger. You can, text, uh, you can test that while, when you go on a break, that which category you are 
you are. I'm, I'm definitely the one that stopped walking and using my forefinger. Anyway, the, uh, what, what's been the change in the way how they communicate and, the, uh, <coughs> and, and, and they are always online versus the older generation is the speed of the technology changing. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch that a bit. And the, uh, where that all happened was actually the uh, iPhone, the iPhone touch experience when it first came into the market. And the, uh, that, started the, uh, that started to change. All of a sudden, we had a UI that was easy to use. It was intuitive, and, uh, and it's, it was fun to use versus the uh, old versions. The, uh, that's, in a way, old news where we are today. And I'm going to talk about a bit about the future. But the, uh, I, want to st uh, I want to stay on this uh, iPhone phenomenon for a little while, because we at Ditsia, uh, we lived very close what happened in, in, um, in that era, and I'm going to come, come to that in, uh, in a, a bit. However, what we saw was that the, uh, that UI and that user interface, that was a, a new standard. People, uh, people learned, consumers learned, that actually UI needs to be something that can be easily used, can be fun. And, and that is now kind of the set standard for all, also for the... Um, older, more traditional industries. So we are having customers in Qt as of today that are using these kind of, uh, <clears throat> are using different kind of applications and services. If you go, for example, in a surgery in a hospital, you'll see a lot of touch screens, and the user experience over there needs to be as good as it was an ease on iPhone. This is really going slow. Well. I'm having trouble with this. I'm going to go on my notes. Software will drive the future. And this is, the, uh, this is really the thing that the, uh, we were seeing at Ditsia and where uh, we were very close at the, uh, when we were doing uh, mobile work. And we realized that this is actually going to affect and hit all the other industries. And what really happened was that the uh, <clears throat> on mobile industry, the phone was first connected to an internet, and the, uh, the, uh, but still the form factor was the, uh, was the most important thing. It was the quality of the radio, it was the size of the antenna, was the antenna inside, was it black or blue or what not, and people were talking about that form factor. And what happened was that the, uh, well, competitor came into the game, and all of a sudden, it was software. The differentiation was made with software. It was the UI, and it was a combination of the hardware and the software, software that made a, a big difference. And the, uh, <clears throat> we were very close into that, and had, uh, we affected by that. And some of the players in the market were able to do this combination very well, and some others weren't. And the, uh, we realized that Ditsia, that, well, wait a minute, this is actually going to affect all the other industries as well. It's going to affect the automotive industry. It's going to affect the, uh, everything we have at home. It's going to, it, it's going to be on TV. Internet is going to be on TVs, refrigerators. All of those devices will have UIs. And as this happens, <coughs> the uh, differentiation is done with software. And then we realized that, well, actually Qt was then part of Nokia, and we knew, we knew quite a lot of Qt at the time. And we realized that, well, Qt is actually right in the middle of this change. To do these independent applications, to build these UIs, Qt is an excellent tool, and that's going to be affecting all the industri industries to come. So when we started looking at the uh, automotive industry, we realized that, well, it's kind of the same thing, that the, uh, it's not the form factor anymore. It's not the size of the engine, or it's not the size of the, uh, it's not only the engine, it's not only the uh, size of the, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, or the form factors, is it a van or whatnot, but it's a combination of, of software and usability and user interfaces in a car. So the future car will need to have software and applications in it 
combined with a great hardware. And the ones that can make this, it's going to be a great feature because not only they're going to be able to make, the, uh, make money when they sell the car, but also throughout the lifetime. But the, uh, <coughs> for the ones that will not be able to make this transition, well, there's going to be a low, low margin car sales case. And, and, and this, is, this will go on and on and on on different industries. Uh, what do you need to do all this? Well, you need Qt, basically. So Qt is in the middle, and all the industries are here to follow. We also see in the automotive industry, it's, it's a, a big business fundamental change that is going to be affecting everyone. Again, if I go into my three kids, they are actually behaving in a way that they don't own any, they don't want to own anything. They are happy to use Netflix. They are happy to use Spotify and whatnot. They are used to a uh, a fact that the uh, they don't uh, they don't necessarily have to own stuff. Whereas when I was a kid, I wanted to own my CDs and whatnot. But that's a different story. So if we go now into the social media, we go into the uh, that everything is going to be connected to an internet, and people are willing to share. The, uh, we, we see, for example, self-driving cars. I'm using my car probably less than an hour a day. There was a study made that the, uh, if you buy a trill, the uh, average use time of a trill during the trill of its lifetime is less than 10 minutes. So we're buying trills and using them less than 10 minutes, which is ridiculous. We are buying cars to sit on a uh, carrots or wherever waiting for us to be used. And if we think how this technology change is going to uh, affect us is the fact that we're all going to be sharing them. For example, in my family, we'd be happy to have only one car going back and forth and transporting us all. All this is very exciting. We're changing the world in very many various ways. And, and you know, the best part of it is that it's being done by software. Hardware, well, we still need it, but it's not important, right? <laughs> we need software, and we need great tools, and that's going to change the world. And you are right in the middle of doing that together with us. And there I see a great future. But we are also changing how business is being done. First of all, when everything is going to be connected to an internet, then the, uh, the next phase is going to be like a uh, human interface, where we have all the machines connected everywhere in our homes. We have all the, um, we have the uh, all machines connected when we go outside. They're all collecting data. There's going to be a, a big business. Maybe we hear something about big data. I don't know about the next presentation. But there is a big business when everything is connected and collecting all this information from the uh, different devices, how we use them and what we are doing. And that's being, uh, that needs to be stored somewhere. That itself is a, a big business. Another big business is going to be that someone needs to analyze all that data. And guess what? Once they do it, they know more about you than you know about yourself. I hope there'll be no evil and, and, and they'll treat that information well. Anyway, when that happens and there is all that uses information, it's again going to change the business fundamentals, how business is being done, how services are going to be offered to us. What this means into uh, manufacturing industry and on embedded industries itself, each and every device will have an UI. They need software that's going to um, differentiate them in order to be able to sell those uh, services. And they definitely need to adapt for a, a new business uh, uh, types of businesses where people are sharing. They are, they are uh, not necessarily owning anything. And all this change is done by software. And Qt is great for that. When we were looking on a mobile business, I'm not going to mention any names, but I saw that what bad software can do. Because there was a, for example, one great application that the, uh, <clears throat> or one, one feature which was the uh, 
to a uh, two finger zoom, right? It was able to zoom on mobile device with two fingers. And for some manufacturers to follow that, it took over a year, right? So if you have software that you can't differentiate, you can't actually face the, uh, <clears throat> you can't actually face the uh, market demands, you can have a uh, terrible future ahead of you. This is actually what we saw at Digio three years ago. We saw that the, uh, uh, this is what's going to be happening in the uh, different industries, and we realized that the uh, cute is actually in the middle of this change. Now I'm going to... I'm going to change this. Well, okay. I hope that in these next two days, I'm running out of time here, and I'm sorry I messed up the slides completely, but I got the message through anyway. The, uh, I'll hope that in these next two days, you'll be able to connect, you'll be able to share ideas, and you'll be able to discuss also, and we'll be able to learn that the, uh, <coughs> how you see the future evolving. I think that the, uh, you'll need a pl uh, framework and the building blocks that will, <coughs> will uh, drive your technology vision forward, and Qt is definitely that. Now, before we uh, go forward, the, uh, we, we've done some great stuff in the automotive industry, and the, uh, we'll have a couple minutes for, um, to introduce that, and I'm going to uh, ask Petter to come here on stage, and he will, he will uh, tell you a bit more about the automotive uh, industry in more, or, or our automotive suit in more general. But before that, I'd like to really thank you for being here in Berlin. Thank you for your dedication and support for CUTE. And I, ho and I wish you a uh, very pleasant two days over here and very productive days. And like I said, um, looking where the industry is going and looking uh, where we are at this present point, there was a, uh, one exhibitor uh, yesterday uh, he put it very nicely that he sees uh, no way that we can actually lose with these cards and at this present position. We're so well positioned with this technology, with all this, uh, with this community and, and all of you and developers, that Qt is actually going to be a great success in the future. And I hope that next year we'll have over 1,000 delegates. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Juha. My name is Petteri Hollander, uh, head of product management at the Qt company. The automotive industry is looking for in-car experience that keep drivers connected, informed, and entertained. An experience where drivers can extend their work and their home into their vehicle through the connected car. Software technology is actually shaping the future of automotive with the focus in user experience. There are many reports that say that the in-car technology is actually the most important decision point when making a purchase decision of a new car. And it's also a key driver that makes consumers update their cars. A recent J.D. Power report said that the average car owner has a 30-day window to actually take the in-car technology into use. Otherwise, the only in-car technology that they will actually be using is their own personal handset. So think about this for a while. You buy the car based on the in-car technology, but you're still willing to abandon that within a month if it doesn't entertain you enough? That's what I call a user experience challenge. This is a picture from the 
a study from the IAE Spectrum that shows that actually connected cars are one of the most complex devices or services that we are ever going to face in our daily lives. It says that at the time of the study, the co connected car had about 100 million lines of code. And I'm, I'm sure it's growing every day. There is a great need, actually, to manage this code. And we have the first-hand experience of the challenges around this. And we want to provide the solution for the in-car software. So, introducing our brand new Qt Automotive Suite, a new product offering, addressing the needs for both creating great, stunning user experiences and having a managed software stack. The Qt Automotive Suite is also an open collaboration where we have initially joined forces with KDAV and Pelagico. Together, we are providing a common technology op offering, including tools, libraries, value-added components, all based on the Qt for Device creation product. As you know, Qt is a cross-platform technology, and we intend to leverage that to bring this to all leading automotive platforms. You might wonder why we have done this with KDAP and Pelagico. Well, there is many reasons for that, but the leading reason is that, that we wanted to show to everybody that this is a collaborative effort, that the Qt company is not doing this alone, but we want to extend this. We want to invite other companies to join with us. Those companies also believe in open source, like we do, and they also have first-hand experience in delivering automotive solutions with Qt. This offering is just the beginnings, in the beginnings, and we welcome all interested parties to discuss joining the auto Qt Automotive Suite collaboration. Today, following the lunch at 1 p.m. in room 5, I will be hosting a technology strategy session that will go more in detail about the Qt Automotive Suite. We also have a booth in the exhibition area in which we'll have employees from the collaborative companies answering your questions during lunch and the breaks. But of course, Qt is not only about automotive. Automotive, instead, is one great example of how can, Qt can be used to create tremendous value. The possibilities with Qt are endless. Thank you. <laughs>